Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and we are back for an update video on the iOS 14.2 beta number four pop-up problem. Let's open up my phone here and we'll take a look. We still got that message coming up. I got a huge update here for you that just came out this afternoon. iOS 14.2 release candidate has been released to the public. Let's take a quick look at that. And here it is. This just came out this afternoon. It is build number 18B91 and it's ready to go. So let's jump right in and get this started. I know you guys want to get this fixed. So let's see if this message really is showing us now the update. So we'll, this is, I haven't touched this thing, so we're going to do this live. We're going to hit close. We're going to go into the settings and then we're going to go into general and we're going to go into software update. And we're going to check for the update here and look at that. It's ready to go. Now, remember, before we do that, let's go back here. And I want to make sure that you guys actually turn back on your date and time. If you had turned that off, make sure you go back in there, turn it on from the, the workaround that we had last night. We'll go back into general. We'll go back into software update. And again, you should see this pop up. Now, all you need to do is hit download and install. So let's do that right now. We'll put in our passcode here. There we go. Update requested. So this is going to take a little bit of time to download here and I'm going to fast forward to the next part and we'll make sure that this message is taken care of. We are downloading now so it's going to, this update is I think about 4 gigabytes in size. It's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your download speed. Once it downloads the entire ISPW, it's going to unpack and install. The install should take anywhere between 10 and 15 right, minutes. Let's get in and see if we got this thing fixed. All right, we're in. Hey, hey, no message. Let's go into settings. We'll go, we'll make sure that we're on the right version. We'll go about, and there we go, 14.2. We'll click on this button, 18B91. Yes, okay, we're all fixed up here. So real quick before we go, a ton of questions how do I get off this beta? Again, betas are for testing, right? You can test out these new features and always make sure you have backup before you try out the beta. But let's say you didn't. Let's say you, you jumped right in and that's fine. A lot of people do and a lot, and a lot of people are, end up being fine. But this is a perfect example of where a beta doesn't work out so well where something goes wrong. So what do you do? Go into settings. Here, we're going to go back out to general. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to scroll down to the profile. You can see the profile right here. We'll click on that and we're going to click this and we're going to remove the profile here. And we'll have to enter in our passcode here. And it's going to say remove. We're going to click remove. And then it's going to tell we got to restart. So we're going to restart. So the iPhone is restarting. And then when it comes back up, the profile will not be installed on it. Now, here's what's going to happen. You want to be able to then wait for iOS 14.2 production. Once that comes out, it'll show up as an available update, in software update, just like this one did, and then you'll be able to update. And once you do, you'll be off the beta track, so you don't have to worry about any beta bugs anymore. And we are back up here, and we'll log in here. All right, and we'll go back into general. We'll scroll down, and the profile is gone. That's it, guys. I hope this helped you out. I, I appreciate all the watches. If you want to see more like this in the future, click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest updates. Have a good night.